This interesting spider belongs to the family Theridiidae, the comb-footed spiders, named for the comb-like projections on the feet. The black widow is found on five continents, often around homes or other structures. It usually attaches its web in dark corners or within untidy accumulations. It is well to be cautious, as this spider's venom is ten times as strong as that of a rattlesnake. If bitten, a stinging sensation will be felt at the sight of the bite. Prompt medical attention should be sought. The black widow subsists on various insects and is quite beneficial in this respect. She encases her victims with silk and kills them with poison delivered through her fangs. The fangs are hollow and about one half millimeter long. They are fed by unusually large venom sacs. The irregular web is without apparent design. A human hair next to a strand of web is huge by comparison. Black widow silk has 12 times the tensile strength of steel and has been used in the making of precision optical instruments. The male spider is much smaller than the female and is not considered dangerous. His palpi store the fluid to fertilize the female's eggs. The male vibrates the web to attract the female. He then tries to secure her with his own ineffective web. Contrary to popular belief, only when prompted by strong hunger does the female kill and eat the male after mating. Fertilized eggs soon develop, and the black widow's body takes on a swollen appearance. Just before laying her eggs, the black widow spins the top half of an egg sac. Egg laying begins with the deposit of a large globule of sticky substance, which will hold the eggs together. There are 188 eggs in this batch, but the number laid at one time may reach 1,000. Eggs are laid twice a month during the warm weather season. The black widow now completes her egg sac. To make it water resistant and secure for most insect predators, she covers it with a tough, close woven web. The egg sac can be moved for greater security or temperature control. The black widow is particularly dangerous for several days after laying and will readily attack in defense of her eggs. The substance which binds the eggs together evaporates within two hours allowing the eggs to separate. The eggs appear smooth and polished. Each one is perfectly formed. The immature spiderling develops in about three weeks and breaks through the egg skin. Here it remains, like a delicate image in wax, awaiting the first molt.
The first molt, which produces the spiderling, is completed within a week. Weather determines how long the spiderlings will remain inside the egg sac. When they are ready to leave, the spiderlings help each other chew a hole in the egg sac. Once they are out, the spiderlings spin a network of webs as a means of escape and separation. Each spiderling will seek its own shelter and its own food. Food stimulates growth in the young widow who must molt or shed its skin six or seven times before she is mature. The body gradually takes on color as the spider develops. The last molt takes the longest. During each molting process, the spider is immobilized and defenseless. The full cycle from egg to maturity ranges from several months to a year, depending on the food supply. While the black widow feeds principally on certain small insects, other insects feed on the black widow. These include the mud dauber wasp and the praying mantis. One of the most important natural enemies of the black widow is a tiny fly called Pseudogorex signata. This deadly visitor alights undetected on the spider's egg sac. Almost at once, the fly lays a number of eggs. Within five days, the eggs hatch into maggots. Each maggot burrows through the egg sac and punctures a spider egg. The size of the maggots increases rapidly during the seven or eight days they take to consume the eggs. When all of the eggs have been eaten, the maggots pupate. Within three hours, a hard pupil case is formed. After ten days, cradled by the egg sac of the black widow, Pseudogorax signata, a tiny fly, is ready to emerge. And so, out of some black widow egg sacs, emerge little flies instead of little spiders. Because this interesting spider is potentially poisonous to humans, and because it is so widespread, everyone should be able to recognize it by its black color, red hourglass, and irregular web. But like so many things in nature, the black widow spider also serves a useful purpose and is a valuable member of the natural community of living things.